dirt roads to rock crawling, tuba chuck to screaming eagle, moonshine to 50 year old single malt. We talk about it all here on Wheelin' Wine and Whiskey with your hosts, Jason and Chris. Welcome to Wheeling Wine and Whiskey, episode 82, here at the home studio for the holiday edition gift guide. Woo! Chris, good evening. How you doing? I'm good. Hey. All right. You're here in studio. Lorenzo's here. <laughs> He's sober, too. He's been sober for, uh, you know, we talked about this a year ago that he went into the 12-step program. Yep. And um, he was on the wagon for a long time. Fell off, short time, but yep. back on. Been good. I think that was mostly at KOH. Well, that happens down, <laughs> down there in the <laughs> desert. What happens in the desert stays in the desert, right, Lorenzo? Yeah. So. I think that was the two-step program. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, so, we are here. Yes. This is crazy. I what? can't believe we're at the end of 2020. We've almost made it. We're almost out of this year. I don't stop. Huh? Just I heard aliens are coming next. That's what that was the next thing. Take me to your leader. <laughs> no, hey, you know what? <laughs> the the nonsense just continues and this is we are non-political, but we do need to go political for just a moment. I mean, this is Oh, we are. Oh, no, no, shit. I mean no, it's not, no, it's facts. Oh, it's politi- facts. It's just just a fact. As a, so, we're recording on uh, what's today the fourth, the fourth of December. I don't even know anymore. This episode will drop on the eighth, I think, of this Dece- of December. Um, but as things stand right now, when this episode drops, we're going to be in a lockdown. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Like full on lockdown. Welcome to California. I mean California. Yeah, California. Yeah. It's it's this it's, is so it's stupid. like we're regressing back to March so and April. Stupid. I mean, stupid. It's Stupid. I, I, stupid. The level of... You want of, my opinion or stupid? It's <laughs> Can I give my opinion? Because I think this is stupid. Yeah, I, I really want to say other words right now, but I'm keeping it to stupid. It's just, yeah, curfews and... You know, oh, we've been under curfew. Stay-at-home orders and, you know, toilet papers in short supply again, if you can find it. Well, I um, went shopping this evening, and it was like the apocalypse again. And I'm like, why are all these people at the store? I mean, it was like unusually busy, yeah. and then I found out that that Newscom, Governor Newscom of California, that's mean. Uh, that's not mean. <laughs> I'm being very nice right now. Right? You want to see mean? I'll fucking give you mean. Whoa, the f bomb, number one. You know, and then all these people are in there panic buying, and I just, I don't know, sheeple, 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 sheeple. wake up. Yep. The world is not coming to an end. It might. If aliens and, show up. And we, week. as people, can overturn this shit. I'm yep. just, I, I got I to gotta stop because I'm going to go off on a big old fucking tirade. But no, we're going to stop. Seriously, it's just, it's just fucking bullshit. Okay? It really is. I get it. We got a pandemic on our hands, but it all comes down to this political. And what did politics come down to? Dollars. Okay, and that's all I'm going to say. Everybody can form their own fucking opinion, but it it's just this is what's happening right now. Right. These poor small businesses that haven't even recovered from the last bullshit in March that are just starting to see the light and then fucking Newsom pulls the fucking rug out from underneath them again. Okay. Not just the businesses, but the people that work in those businesses. Well, exit again. It it just it, it, it it's yeah. a trickle down effect. Yeah, and it's it's really fucked up. And um, anyways, if you can't read between the lines of where I stand, you know. Anyways, I'm done. I don't want to get fired up this <laughs> <laughs> podcast, but um, there you go. Hey, let's go on to something else. <laughs> Moving on. I got this in the mail today. What you know what this is, Chris? Looks like what yellow, is this, Chris? Looks like yellow pages. It is. Is that the, even a thing this anymore? Is a fucking yellow pages. It is the yellow pages. You remember when the yellow pages were like super thick, like four or five inches thick? Well, it was a phone book. A, exactly, a phone book. The yellow pages, and then you remember the white pages, which was the yeah, residential yeah. section, yeah. which was like an inch and a half thick, and there were like seven thousand Smiths. Well, look there. here. Here we are, 2020, San Jose, Santa Clara, which has one of the largest 
populations in this oh, yeah, in huge. the state of California, California. It's a half inch thick. Look, <laughs> it might be a half inch thick. I, I didn't mean, even think that was a thing. Those of you, I didn't think there was these anymore, anyways. But I just got this in my mailbox today. Well, it's just recycle. And I, I am looking at this today, and I go. Oh my God, this is silly. Are there white pages in there? It's the Valley Yellow Pages and the White Pages combined, and it's less than a half inch thick. So those of you that have been around for a long time, such as Chris and I, Being old. are going to know that this is ridiculous. But those millennials listening to this podcast go, oh, they got phone books? Because I look that shit up online. Exactly. So that never existed um, you know, online shit before, but I find this highly comical. I don't know. It's a, we just say, hey, hey, Google. And the you know, next thing, hey, I need the number for, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it says it and says, hey, can you dial that number? Yeah. Oh, yes, by, of course. And boom, done. You exactly. Know, it's, it's, uh, that's, that's, that's old school shit right <laughs> there. Yeah. Isn't um, this funny? But uh, it's, it's kind of, it's like yeah. the hangers on. I mean, because it's, it's Starbucks it's, even has its own page in the. Yellow pages. Does, does it list all the all the different branches? There must be yeah. like six hundred. Oh them. yeah, this is crazy. Is, is Smith next? Uh, yeah, Smith. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh boy, this is funny. Yeah, the, the yellow pages. attorneys. There's a lot of attorneys. Well, yeah, it's it's a litigious Dentist, society we live in now. Electricians. Everybody's fu- suing fire, each other in garage, the their teeth. Taken generators. Care of. Oh, generators because we can't have fucking power 360 no, days have, a year. Have, hey, so speaking of power, heating. we're going to have uh, insurance. Apparently, we're going to have a red flag warning again this weekend, and it's oh, going to be uh, public good. safety power yeah, shutoffs from PG&E. Yeah, I know. And PG&E is raising their rates. Of but, course, because. Because, what did I say solar, earlier today? Swimming. We, uh, what did swimming. I say? Hey, look, Mike Austin. <laughs> The pool guy. He's right here. He's right here. Wow. <laughs> All right. Put your yellow pages away. Okay. Anyways, I thought those, that was... You can use I just throw that. Fire. That's gone. She gone. She gone. I just... That was crazy. I, I got that in the mail today. I go, oh, my God. This is fucking hilarious. Okay. What else did we get in the mail, Chris? Let's. Hey, what's in the bag? This is like Christmas. It is. It's almost Christmas. We're 20-something days. So... oh We got a special... <laughs> package well we didn't i i let me just retract that statement lorenzo got a special package that we spoke about the last podcast that we didn't know what it was we didn't know what it was lorenzo gets more mail so lorenzo doesn't have opposable thumbs so he had trouble opening this up so i had to open it for him (laughs) but we (laughs) we open this up uh sean from santa rosa should we say his last name? I don't know. Does he want anonymity? Well, we just use Sean, Sean from he Santa Rosa. Who he, is. he knows who he is. Sean yeah. from Santa Rosa sent this to Lorenzo, and it is a calendar. Uh oh. Ooh. A twenty twenty one jackass and the things they say calendar. And Lorenzo really liked this calendar. Are those female jackasses? <laughs> well, how do you tell the difference? He's getting a little funny over here. How do you tell the difference? Well, do I need to... I don't know. Really? Okay, so the very first page, though, when you Boys open up have this... a penis, girls... Wow, have really? <laughs> <laughs> so the very first page, the very first page of the calendar, you open it up, uh-huh. and it says, do you think he's dead, or is Joe just hung over again? How what? apropos is that? That's not well. So is Joe Lorenzo? <laughs> it could be Joe Lorenzo. Joe Lorenzo. Joe, Joe Lorenzo. Joe Lorenzo. Oh boy! I mean, there is some hilarious pictures in here Are you gonna hang with these that captions. You're gonna hang that in Lorenzo's room? Hey, that's his deal. Whatever he wants to do. Um, this could be like. Is this like Playboy for jackasses? Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know if it's Playboy esque. Jackass boy, but it's nice. It's a it's a high quality calendar, and um, there's a lot of his uh, friends and relatives in here. Awesome and uh, very cool, very very cool of Sean to send that. And uh, Lorenzo, thanks you absolutely. If he could speak to you right now, he would say thank you. He's clapping his hooves. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he he's giving us a high high hoof. A high hoof. High hoof. 
I, hey, Lorenzo, make yourself useful. So that's some wine. that's super cool. So I mean, it's it, this is funny getting uh, stuff from our uh, Lorenzo you know, listeners fans. here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So there you go. Um, what else did we receive in the mail? Should we should we go into this other box? Yeah, I'm. You're, I'm a you're, little. You're, you're, I, this box. Uh, this you came from you know Australia. Oh, it's Aussie. This oh. came from the land down and under. Uh, it's Vegemite, isn't it? <laughs> Seasons go and uh, how's it go? Uh, how's that song go? I've never had. Well, it's men, men at work. It and, is. Uh, it is men at work. So there is some shredded paper in here. There might be some an important. Uh, government documents shredded in this uh, box. Did you say impotent? I, I think yes, impotent, impotent. Let's let's glue it all. Let's let's have Lorenzo glue it all yeah, back together. Yeah, there's definitely there some social, some do they secret have social code, security cards, and some uh, secret in code. Australia. So this. W- <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is freaking great. What is it? Well, <laughs> you make me walk down there. No, no, no. So, um, should mention that we're socially distancing. Okay, so required. we've got a, a a few friends in Australia. We're we're actually like the uh, we are the number one fastest growing off road podcast in Australia. Yeah, that has been deemed by Apple Podcasts. But um, we have a lot of Australian uh, fans, which I I love. Yes, sir. And so this was. Um, this was sent out by our friends at uh, Ramp Customs. Okay. Okay, and you've been following their page. They do some oh, yeah. badass shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? They're basically like the Randy Slauson, the Jesse Haynes, the, uh, should I go to uh, the Campbell Enterprises of Ooh, Australia? Yeah. Yeah, they're they're pushing out some really cool shit here. And uh, so... Well, they, need, they need off-road rigs just to drive through downtown Sydney, right? <laughs> I don't know. I've never been there. <laughs> I really want to go to Australia. Apparently, I can't go there anytime soon. Can't go anywhere. I know. But um, <laughs> so he he sent this, and um, he, he gave me a little heads up. Oh, did he? On this. And uh, I said, okay, I, I just, I'm going to open it up during the podcast. There's other stuff in here that I didn't know about. So, okay. So this box, so is it ticking? There is a oh, bottle of Vegemite, Vegemite in Vegemite's in there. Look at that. Because he said you never had Vegemite uh, and you need to try it on air. I've heard uh, either. So you need to try it. it. Well, it, and it's awesome. So well, we'll tr- we'll try it in okay. a future episode. No, sure. we're going to try it right now. Really live on scratcher? the air? Yes. Or well, if I'm and the then we studio. wait. We got more in here. There's a lot of lot of. Okay, wait. There's a piece of metal in here. Is, is oh, a, dude! Really? Is there a hot blonde? He's got a. Model? He's got a. Uh, he's got a, a water boom- jet machine. Is that a boomerang or laser? <laughs> it's it's, it's yeah. not a koala bear. It's not. It's not a boomerang either because it's not shaped that way. Okay, we got we got some cool shit in here. Oh, we got some stickers. Stickers. Ramp customs Ooh. because normal is just average. Sticker Saturdays. How about up. that? We're gonna be uh, yeah. That's Woo. Cool. Okay, wait a minute. We got some. We got some fun stuff here. Okay, this. What this is that? Is well wrapped. wrapped. I like it. It made it all the way from Australia. This is. I'm pretty freaking excited right now, Chris. Are you? I am. I'm having trouble unwrapping. Definitely it, though. having trouble with the cellophane. It's it's they uh got, they got higher it's quality cellophane. Very. <laughs> it's very well wrapped. <laughs> it's COVID free. Is it? Uh, because of this coating that he's got on it? I almost crashed into a COVID the other day. It jumped, <laughs> jumped out in front of me on was the road. Was that a cop or a COVID? A COVID. Oh. Was, uh, COVIDs and, and, and tumbleweeds look exactly the same. Really? Yeah. Just okay. saying. Oh, you know what these are? I know what these are. These are the freaking tabs that he cuts out. Oh, uh-huh. oh these are freaking badass. Oh. I don't know if you're going to get any of these because you don't. What? No, these are all for the buggy. You got to share. Sharing is is caring. So these are the tabs that he makes. Look at that! That how fucking cool is that? So That's these are, these are tabs for tie downs. Little um, yeah, the, the YJ the Barbie Jeep needs some of those. Yeah, yeah. You can you can run your uh, <laughs> your tie wraps through there. Okay, that's fucking cool. And then wait, wait, but wait, there's more. 
This could take a while. Oh, jeez. This doesn't make for you good radio knife? trying to unwrap this shit. You want a knife? You got a knife? Catch. That does not... Oh. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> okay, wait a minute. You have a knife down. I thought you had a knife earlier. I did. What did what you did do, I do with it? it? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. I'm coming I down. Know. I don't know. Social distancing's off, Here we go. off, uh, off line. Oh, the apparently, uh, saran wrap is very cheap in Australia. Well, yeah. I mean... Because there's a lot of it. What Ooh. is that? Oh. Is it a boomerang? It is. They're mini boomerangs. <laughs> They're miniature boomerangs. <laughs> You're struggling down there, I dude. am. They, they use some serious shit. Okay, wait a minute. These are also weld-on deals for your, your rig. Dude, this is badass. Nice. You're probably going to keep all those, too. Well, yeah, because I know how to weld. Well, your son knows how to weld. Well, my son knows how to weld. I need somebody who knows how to TIG weld so they can fix the step to my camper. Hey, I got to say, the uh, the steel down in Australia is legit. That's some super heavy-duty stuff there. Well, and it came across the ocean and didn't rot. It didn't. It's not rusted. It it came very well preserved. I got got spaghetti uh, stuff all over my floor, though, here from from his important documents. I'm going to be able to do his taxes next year with his documents (laughs) that he shredded here. (laughs) Hey. What what is it, a W-2 or W-4? What what, what is the tax form? I don't know what it is down in Australia. W, W. It's just a a dub, dub, dub. (laughs) Hey. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's freaking so cool. Okay, so... We're gonna. I'm gonna have to go get a spoon for you to try this Vegemite. What I have to? Try, well, you've had it, right? Have I've you, had it before, and I will try it again. Um, oh, it's active now. See, it's ten o'clock our time, so it's probably. I don't know what time it is there in it's Australia. It's, a, it's like four days in advance and seven well, a.m. or something. So uh, he says to try it on some uh, toast or maybe cheese as well. So what do you? How do you want it? How do you want this served up? I think we need some canned brown bread. Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh shit! So talk about this because we were talking about this earlier. Canned brown bread. You know, so we had you cook this awesome dinner tonight, like we always do when we're at the home studio, and. It just reminded me you had this 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 brown oat bread from uh, was it uh, where was it Panera? No. <laughs> what the bread? The bread that you had that we put in the oven? Uh, cheesecake factory. Cheesecake factory. Sorry about that. <laughs> Panera. So it just you mentioned the brown bread and it's like God that reminded me, the brown bread when I was a kid I grew up in New England and we would have this canned brown bread that you it was. It was super good. At least I remember it being super good. You open it, B and M, I think it was, and you'd open a can and pour it out, heat it up, and then you you put butter on it, and it was oh, it was great. And it's a New England thing, and that's that's where it. You know, I, people in California don't know about it, but it, I grew up in New England, and I know about it, and I, I like it. So I'm going to try to track it down and really and and, and see. But uh, I don't know if Vegemite would go with canned brown bread, but. Uh, <laughs> so, wow! But we're gonna give it a go. I'm 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 game for anything. Yeah, you game? Yeah, give me a spoon and I'll uh, I'll see what we see. Okay, all right. Here we go. Let me uh, let me go. Let me go get some uh, some utensils here. In the in the gr- this thing weighs like I don't know. I mean, seriously, it's like five pounds. Like peanut butter weight? Uh, no, this is way beyond here. I'm gonna I'm gonna send this down to you when I. Uh, Go get the utensils. Bring the bottle of wine with you when you come to. Holy shit. <laughs> There's some high density action going on here. Here, you want wheat bread? Yeah, sure, whatever. What the fuck do we do with it? Yeah, sure. You say yes, yeah, sure, yes, sir. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, yes, sir. B vitamins for vitality. Proudly made in Australia since nineteen twenty three. Hang on. Oh god. Oh god. Dude, it's child proof. Is it really? It's a, a child proof packaging. 
Maybe old man proof. I don't know. Shit. Video of Chris. Okay, are we still live? Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. I gotta I get. Mean, I gotta get video. Through the magic of the of the of editing, I will cut out the silence. Okay. All right. I told him I'd take video. So uh, here we are with our our Vegemite. There it is, Chris holding up the Vegemite. Um, straight from Australia, which is awesome. I have not had this since college. We had a it was uh, decades ago. It was <laughs> it was nineteen ninety six or seven. Holy mackerel! You're uh, old. Um, yeah. Well, that was like your fortieth birthday or something, right? Really? Back then. <laughs> wow. But uh, I noticed you didn't bring me the wine. So Ben Wikes, Ben Wikes was a foreign exchange student to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo back in uh, 96, 97. So wow. if you're listening to the podcast, Ben, reach out and, uh, and hit me up. But uh, Jason at <laughs> what, were the, what are the odds of that? Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so he, he brought in, you know, Vegemite from sure. Australia, of course. And that's when I had it. So that, that was the last, first and last time I've had Vegemite. So let me let me just quickly interject my okay. experience with a foreign exchange student. And when I was in college, he was from Japan, and we had sake. Oh, I thought you were going to say sushi. No, sake, <laughs> sake, drink boxes of sake and sake at, at, at you know proper temperatures. Right. So I got Vegemite. You had Vegemite. I had sake. Okay. Just well, sake is great. Was it great. cloudy or uh, clear? No, it was clear. Oh, okay. It was I like the cloudy it sake. Stuff. It was good. And, he, and he, one night we were. We we had it at proper temperature, the proper oh, way, yeah. the Japanese yeah. way. It yeah, was, absolutely. And that's what I love about the different cultures and, and stuff, you know, right? This is like a, a staple for them. So Yasunari Id, if you're listening, wow. cheers. Wow. Wow. There you go. <laughs> so here we go. International podcast here at Wheeling Wine and Whiskey. So uh, Chris, go ahead and uh, take a bite of your uh, Vegemite. Should, uh, I be, should I be afraid? No, don't be afraid. It's good. Here we go. I'm all, I'm all. I love eating. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> love eating. Okay. What's your uh, What's your impression there? You're not saying much. You're not gagging. That's good. Got the Vegemite. It's a kind of a tang to it. It does have a little wang to it, doesn't it? I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. You don't hate it? You don't love it? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like It's Vegemite. Um I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't love it. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I don't love it. Look, Lorenzo's just sitting there just like, really? I'm just trying to... Let him I'm try I'm trying it. to decide if it's... I don't know what it is. What it, I'm expecting it to be like a chocolate or, or something No, it's not sweet. a chocolate. No, it's not sweet in any way, shape, no, or form. No, it's not sweet. It's not a dessert. No, it's... Uh, it's, it's like what you'd put on your sandwich at lunch. Yeah, I don't ever want to have this again. <laughs> 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 it's got to be wow! It's got to be an acquired. That's taste. great appreciation for our friends down under that that sent this all the way from Australia. Thank you. I don't ever have this again. <laughs> Thanks for nothing is what you're saying. Nice. That's a real nice. How do you do, Chris? Well, I'm being honest. Well, okay. I, it is an acquired taste. I will give you that. I'm going to uh, take a bite right yeah, get now. Get in on this because, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, I can't be the only one. Mm-hmm. Woohoo! No video of you. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Wheeling wine and whiskey. It is. It's got a. <laughs> it's got a wing to it. It's got a. <laughs> What's the shelf life on this stuff? I think about a thousand years. <laughs> it's like a twink, like a Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> it is. The, it's the American equivalent of a Twinkie. Woo! 
Oh, um, shit, that's salty. Do you think? I, oh, my God. I, I, I'm pretty sure my doctor would not recommend <laughs> I eat this stuff. Does it even have a nutritional label on it? No, I'm looking. Hold on. I'm having. Whoa, God. <laughs> my, my eyes are watering. I can't read it. Hold on. I got to. <laughs> gotta fix my eyes. Hang on a second. Oh God! Holy shit! Okay. Okay. Hold on. It does have a label. So it does. What does it say? Start happy with Vegemite. Mm-hmm. B B one essential for brain function. Uh huh. B two support your ner- nervous system. Yeah, that's it. Okay. B three essential for energy release. Folate helps fight fatigue. Well, shit, we're going to be up all night. <laughs> Find more inspiration at www.vegemite.com. Recipes, recipes for this stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't. This label's so freaking small, I can't read it, even with my glasses on. Veg- Vegemite um, cookies, man. Um, Oof. I can't read the label. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's a, it definitely is acquired taste. I don't, I don't hate it, but I, 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 I had the same reaction when I tried it before. It was like holy hell! I need to experiment with it. I'm going to experiment with this. I promise you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have my wife try it. Yeah, no, it, it's fun. It's fun for the whole family. <laughs> so <laughs> you know. Have, have Ke- your daughter try it. I mean, this is this oh, is international. Yeah, she won't eat this. How cool is this? Kevin will try it. He'll eat anything. Oh yeah, Kevin will try it. He'll if probably it, if it doesn't bite him first, he's in. He'll probably throw it on a grilled cheese sandwich. Or he'll probably be good. A Vegemite and grilled cheese sandwich. He oh. might throw it on a steak. Who the hell knows with that kid? You know? Oh man. Anyway, well, right there on. you go. Cool. All right. <sighs> okay. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. So, uh, thank you very much. I, I don't have a name for him. Uh, Ramped Customs, down no. in Australia. Good day, mate. Is, it, is he on Walkabout? He's or? on Walker Street, Warner Bay, Warner's Bay, New South Wales, Australia. So, check him out online. Okay, so if you are listening to this podcast and you're into Hardcore Wheeler, you know... Not one of these uh, Overlander. Rocklanders are hardcore, right? <laughs> uh, they're not hardcore. You're talking oh. about like Kermit? That's not hardcore. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's so. <laughs> that's like soft porn right there. Oh shit! So check out if you're if you're into hardcore rock crawling, check out Ramped Customs. R A M P T underscore C U S T O M S at on Instagram there, okay? And you just going to scroll through his page and he builds some really cool shit. So, uh don't know your first name, don't know your last name, but Ramp Customs, thank you very much for supporting the podcast. Yes. Sending over the Vegemite, sending over the cool tabs oh, those uh, here. That's freaking awesome. Super appreciate it and the stickers going to go up on the sticker wall. Sticker Saturday. I love it. So, um, very, very cool. So ch- please check him out. Um, he is non-denominational, works on a bunch of different uh, uh, rigs. But, uh, yeah, these zip-tie tabs that he's putting out right here are really freaking cool that you could weld on. And um, I- I'm definitely using these on the buggy. I don't think you're getting any of these, Chris. That's bullshit. I'm just saying, you know. All right. Well, you'll so be to see my you can take the Vegemite list. home. Oh, great! There you go. I'll have Kevin. <laughs> oh, Kevin will eat it. So, <laughs> when you, you're going to be so jealous when I when when you hear my shopping list for Christmas? Oh, great! Let's see. Because this is the holiday shopping guide for off roading. Okay, here we go. We getting into it? I think so. Let's do it. Let's bang it out. How Boom. are we going to do this? We're going to do it like last year. Low to high. Low to high, which is uh, halfway between here and Tahoe, I said last year. That's low to high. <laughs> Kobe, you ready? Oh, you're not here this year. Shit. Okay. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? No, no Kobe this year. It's just Shit. Jason. It was Kobe studio. last year. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He does well on the podcast. He, he does I got well. to admit, he, he, 
He's my backup host. Him and CJ. I heard he's my uh, backup host. He's selling his Jeep and he's going over to the Toyota side. Is he really? That's what I heard. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Become a Yotard. Yotard? Yeah. You got a raisin that shit up? He's going to have more torques. Oh, boy. (laughs) So you got that going for you. (laughs) Okay. Well, all right. So let's go. What do you got? Let's get this thing rolling here. Let me start. Go. Okay, so I I think we start at twenty five bucks. Under twenty five bucks. I don't know any prices of these. Th- well, I kind of know. Okay, go. Oh, if I had Jason money, shit. No, I don't have any money, and that's why I can't relate to any of this stuff because I haven't bought shit in twenty twenty. So let's let's qualify this a little bit. This is there's no bling here in our shopping list. This is you all functional shit that more. you need on your rig to make you get home or get out onto the trail better. Chrome don't get you home. Chrome don't get you home. <laughs> This? Although my chrome dome, I don't know. Anyway, but they're also, you as, you get, as, as you get older, it gets a little more difficult for you to climb into your rig, especially when your rig gets taller and you're Jesus. not growing taller. Where are we going with this? <laughs> so I have these grab handles that are these Velcro grab handles that go on my, my, cro- yes. my uh, above my doors. Yes. And they, they are invaluable for helping me hoist my happy ass into the Jeep. <laughs> so... I looked and I found Quadratech has grab handles. For yes, seventeen ninety nine. Wow, these are these Velcro ones per each seventeen ninety nine. Yeah, each. they Velcro onto the roll cage, onto the roll cage, and they help you. They basically pull, give a help a, me help you get a grab handle into get your, your into get your Jeep. ass into the Jeep. So huge help for me, and I recommend them highly. So. That's my one of my that's my one of my first recommendations for under twenty five. You know, and 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 not only I I get that that's good that's a very good useful part of this. And, and there's a few different manufacturers of those out oh, there. There's there, those those rope ones and stuff. Paracord, yeah, paracord yeah, yeah, ones, yeah. right? With the rubber. rubber, rubber uh, I know ones. Step Twenty Two. Oh yeah, is another one that makes some really high quality uh, grab handles like that 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 Velcro onto your roll cage. Um, but they're also nice if you got them in the center just to, to grab onto and, and hang on to. Like, you know, my passengers are always looking for something to hold on to because, uh, you know, it gets a little scary. Well, it's the holy the Jeep and the buggy. You <laughs> exactly. Know? But that's a safe way for them to grab on. Right. Because then they're not grabbing on to the roll cage where their fingers are over the top. Right. And in that rare instance, if, uh, you know... I'm driving that it rolls over, but Lorenzo driving, it's very oh, common occurrence of, yeah. or for, the, for it to roll over. Or Tommy, I mean, we got we got numerous people that that roll over. So but you have a oh shit bar in the in the buggy. The buggy has no shit bar. The Jeep has no shit Does it? handle. Yeah, yeah, I've never yeah you got a handle right in front. Oh yeah, yeah, just bar one, right there. You grab onto mine. and hang on to it. Oh shit! Even, even the Barbie Jeep has an oh shit bar. Does it really? Oh, yeah, it's small, but it's plastic. Know, it's, it's, no, I think it's reinforced. Okay, better than nothing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, those are those are great things to have, and I've got I've got one on each side. So uh, I've only been a passenger in my Jeep twice when I was training. Wow! Either of my older children, my boys, to drive the Jeep, and uh, it's different being a dri- a passenger than a driver. Yeah, it really is. It, and I don't like being a passenger. No. I'm the first one to admit. I, I just I especially in the off road arena, um I I just I like driving. But if if I'm a passenger that's cool and I keep my mouth shut unless the driver asks, Hey, what's over there on the right or what are you seeing over there? Okay, then I'll chime in. But I try to keep my mouth shut. And if shit gets uh you know, where I don't like, I don't like the driver's uh not necessarily I, I, I shouldn't say I don't like the driver's ability or whatever, but if I get face. Yeah, just not <laughs> not not wanting to be in the passenger seat anymore, I'll get out and walk because it's beautiful out there. It's Are a beautiful you, like, hike. You suck at driving yeah, getting out. No, that's a <laughs> shitty line. Why the hell are you going that way? You're trying to kill us. So Well, along those lines I have something yeah, what do you got? Uh and you know, I know I we mentioned it last year, but it, it's something that's super cool, and I use a shit ton out of. And it's a wearable item is is soft shackles. Oh yeah, soft shackles and Freedom Ropes, which is down in San Luis Obispo, right near Pismo, that's fighting for 
their freaking life right now, which we've talked about so before on the podcast. Ends, yeah. But um, you can get ten percent off through Snail Trail. We're gonna we're gonna help out the Snail Trail boys here. There you go. And I I believe in this company. Um, so you can, you know, this could be from simple little soft shackle on the, all the way up to a, a toe strap, tow rope, sure. uh, winch, uh, lines, all that stuff. They are a, a small mom and pop company, right. um, that are avid four wheelers that support four wheeling. And, uh, it'd be great to support them here if you're in California, even if you're not in California, but 10% off and you just, uh, put in snail trail. Snail Trail, That's all it. one word, is their discount code for 10% off. Wow. And uh, like I say, this gift could go from mild to wild. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I mean, I would be super, you know, I've got like six or seven soft shackles. Sure. I've got synthet- synthetic rope on both rigs. Um, but Jason. But no, but if you if someone gave me a soft shackle and or a winch rope or something for Chris, I'd be super stoked because that's a wearable item. And um, if if you don't necessarily need a new winch rope right now, you're going to need it in the future. And and my winch rope is still off uh, the buggy. Uh, <laughs> it is true. It's true. It is very true. Um, my winch rope is still off from uh, Trail Hero. We need to fix that. I know. And um, do we need to take it up to the Snail Trail shop and have them work on it? No, no. We'll we'll fix it down here. We got to get the uh, buggy in the garage. Ah, get ready for K O H twenty twenty one. Yeah, that's a whole other topic. Yeah. So there you go. So the, the, anything from Freedom Ropes, ten percent off Snail Trail is your code, and. Is Very it, cool, uh, and and support that that company. There's a lot of synthetic winch line uh, people out there, companies, distributors. Oh, I get tons, it, tons. Um, but this is local to us, right? And uh, and that's why I chose them. So, and with the state of state of California being the way state it is of the right state. now, support your local oh, businesses. Yes, for sure, absolutely. Well, you just kind of took like four of them off my list. Perfect. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. I got another one that's uh, not super expensive. Uh, I I don't know. I I'm trying to. I'm I'm struggling to put dollar values on this stuff. I mean, I could look it up online, but I don't have a computer in front of me right now. Lorenzo has totally checked out. He is curled up in his little, uh, you know, uh, Donkey. doggy bed, donkey bed, donkey bed. Yeah, it's, it's little... past his bedtime apparently. Well, he's actually. Well, he just lifted his head and looked at me. Okay, well, that's cool. Well, you going to do any work, Lorenzo? Just gave you the middle hoof. Yeah. No, he goes after hours. He's not doing overtime apparently now. No, he's, he's a union shop. <sighs> Jeez. He comes from a union place. So, Mob Armor. Oh, Mob Armor. Mob Armor. And I was searching for a camera mount uh, for the buggy. Does that get you home? Well, I mean, a phone. You know, I, I say camera because I use my, my phone as a camera, but... Does that get you home? It does. Okay. Did you, you just... That would... <laughs> what? You got you to gotta document your occasion here. I guess. Um, so, I got this... Uh, before Trail Hero, I got the mob armor mount, the roll cage. It's got a clamp that clamps onto a roll cage. Uh-huh. And then it has a nice uh, clamp for the phone. And, you know, that buggy goes and crazy angles and everything. It just and goes wherever you put I had a magnetic mount before. And Mob oh, Armor yeah. makes magnetic mounts. They don't work. No, oh, apparently no. Mob Armor mounts, magnetic mounts work. But I didn't do magnetic. I just went with this, just this, you know, clamp in style for this. And it was absolutely awesome. Oh, that's Worked good. great. And I could transfer it over to the Jeep. Okay. You know? Sure. If I need be. But anyways, they've got a lot of variety of different mounts. Um and and they are solid. They're well built. Okay. Um so check them out. Mob armor. And hey, what look at snail trails all over this shit. I don't I don't mean to be like promoting snail trail left yeah, or let's right stop here. Doing that. Okay. <laughs> So I won't give you the discount. I won't give you the fifteen percent <laughs> discount cut. No, give Chris me said, code. Just DM me if you want the fifteen uh, no, percent off. We're not like that. We're oh. we're 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 
Snail Trail 4X4. Snail blah, blah, Trail blah, blah, 4X4. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Snail Trail 4X4 what? So Snail Trail 4X4 is going to get you 50% mob armor. Holy shit. I didn't even know about that code. I'm going to have to jump on See, that. and I, I asked, I had to pull strings to get this code from them. Tyler and Jim Before are Trail Hero, and they're like, well, you're not a patron, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and, and then they boy. mentioned it on their podcast, you know, so I'm like, okay, it's public knowledge now, so I can say it on our podcast. But anyways, mob armor makes some cool stuff. They're local. They're down there near San Luis Obispo as well. Uh-huh. And um, uh, love to support them. So, cool. Um, anyways, those are a couple, like, you know, lower end, uh, I, you know, I don't know, price uh, 25 35 $45 uh, range for some cool stuff for with, uh, with the Freedom disc- Rope Shackle, right. Soft Shackle, Mob Armor, uh, Mount, um, can't go wrong. Uh, I I don't know any of my friends in the four wheeling uh, arena that would be disappointed getting either one of those products. I'm pretty disappointed. <laughs> I don't I don't have either. Well, you need to go four wheeling in order to oh, appreciate those things. I've been, whoa! I've been wheeling. Whoa! More, I went wheeling more recently than you have. Oh, more recently you have. Yeah. Where Where was that? Oh, Strawberry Trail. Oh. But just saying mm-hmm. okay. doesn't doesn't mean I've done as much as Did you. you uh, yeah, let's not let's not even go down that path. Uh, okay, it's my I turn. Think our listeners know. So <laughs> the listeners, go know. ahead. I'm going to be quiet for a while. So I'm going to be in the under twenty five for a bit. Uh, so we did talk about the Whoa. grab handle. Does your wife know about that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> absolutely. Um, you know, one of the things that we see all the time and we just can't stand is when we see uh, off-roaders, newbies. Oh, I thought you were going to say Priuses. Pri- well, uh, yeah, Priuses off-road, you know, wrapping their winch cable around the tree. <laughs> I can't stand seeing a winch cable wrapped around a tree and, you know, and attached to itself. Uh, and that's I haven't seen that in a long time. I've seen it before. And it, oh, you know, I've we seen see it the damage times. that happens on the trail. and It's terrible. So, a tree saver. Every everybody yeah. everybody should have a tree. even Prius owners should have a fucking tree yes. saver strap. Yes, and they're cheap, and the, the 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 reward of not killing a tree when you're recovering yourself on the trail is priceless. True. So uh, anyway, there's uh, Amazon Ooh, has me. has these Gear America tree saver straps, three inch by eight foot. For twenty four ninety five. No way. Twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks. Three inch wide. Three inch wide. By how long? Eight foot. Eight feet. I know they're not as big as is Unimog size. You know, you can't well, sleep in like a hammock and shit. But that's that's not here or there. <laughs> but but you should for twenty five bucks. Everybody should have a tree saver. Honestly. Yes. Yes, I agree. Stop killing the trees. I agree. Um. You know, you, you took away my uh, my uh, D ring. Which one? Thing. The D ring shackle. But, uh, well, that's that's because they're they're usable. Oh, yeah, absolutely, okay. that's good. And then I have tow hooks. So if you're new adequate and, tow hooks, front and rear. You need recovery points on your rig. Yeah, and yeah. Early in, in the early days of my off roading experience, I bought before I took clinic at the club, the uh, yes. safety clinic. I went. I went online and I bought these uh, recovery hooks and bolted them to the front bumper or front frame of my Jeep. Okay. And I, I don't remember what those cost, but Quadratech has them right now for thirteen dollar. What? Thirteen dollars. Heavy duty recovery hooks that you can buy for thirteen dollars from Quadratech right now on their Christmas their Christmas shopping action. And uh, boom, you can have a nice, safe, strong recovery points on the no front of your kidding. Jeep. It's pretty crazy, huh? Wow. So that that those are my under recovery 25. points front and rear are super important, oh, Jimmy. They're... Jimmy Jet, <laughs> Snail Trail four x four, Just very fun. very important. He doesn't even have a winch. Well, apparently, I don't know. I don't. Apparently, know. He doesn't need one. He's got a lot of torque, so Bobcat doesn't get stuck until it does. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. anyway. Um, yeah, what do you got? Anything? Well, um, you know, another thing that could be any price range is, uh, gift certificates to like polyformance. Nice. Poly performance. 
Sure. Which they're down in uh, the San Luis Obispo. I don't know why I'm targeting why the San Luis Obispo. The, well, we're down I don't know. Apparently, rinse sheep down there or something. I don't know. Um, but that... rough stuff up in Sacramento uh-huh. area. I mean, they build some cool stuff. Right. Uh, tabs and stuff, much like Ram Customs here. Um, they got laser cutters and stuff. And then uh, like WFO. Bo- you're holding a boomerang. Dude, I'm I, I'm infatuated with these these mounts here down here. I'm playing with them. It's fun. I didn't see that. Uh, and then WFO, <laughs> Trevor, yeah. uh, down at WFO. Or I should say up at at WFO from us in in the Sacramento area as sure. well. Um, they do some incredible stuff. But you know, uh, you don't know what to get, and the old cliche, oh, I just get a gift certificate. But a Good gift part. certificate to to one of those companies, Poly Performance, Rough Stuff, or WFO, I think would be uh, well received from any off roader here in the in the area. Uh, even if you're out of the area, I mean, these guys are, are they ship. Yeah, they ship out. Um, they're running some great specials and Support got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, no doubt. So and, and this stuff, a lot of this stuff's trail proven. I mean, most of it. Yeah. It's a lot all of, of it. race proven. All of it. And then, yeah, a lot of it is proven at King of the Hammers. Absolutely. So, I mean, you this know. stuff gets beaten to hell and yeah. it, it survives and then it becomes your stuff yeah. and bam, there you go. Cool. So uh, another thing that's in probably the, uh, I'd say, uh, 50 under category. San Luis. No, it's not in San Luis Obispo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> Wheeling wine and whiskey swag. Oh, you took another one away from me. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Lorenzo gave me the old hoof over there. He's Kill he's him. loving it. He I just he woke was asleep. up. He, he just up. woke up from his bed. Bastard. So uh yeah, Wheeling Wine and Whiskey swag over there at our website, wheelingwineandwhiskey.com. Nothing uh, says I love you like wheeling wine and whiskey. It really doesn't. Swag. And I'll tell you, this is this is very cool. So um uh Johnny Got a special request. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this right now. Um, uh, so one of our, our listeners, and I'm going to see if I can find their name. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. This is the magic of inter- editing. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, so... So, uh, Charles. Charles Locke. No, it's not Charles Locke. Oh, no. It's Charles uh, M. We just uh, protect the uh, innocent here. Charles and Emerson. I don't know where he's third. from. Um, he's got a great family here looking on his Instagram page, and uh, looks like he's got a uh, first-gen forerunner. Oh, no, a Toyota guy? It is. He's a Toyota guy, but he knows. He knows what's up. If you he know, listens you know. To, he listens to whiskey's words. Wait, at. he's got a snail. He's got a snail trail sticker here and a mob armor sticker. Where's the wheeling wine and whiskey? Sticker? I know. Oh, Where is that? Oh boy, we got to get him a wheeling wine and whiskey sticker. <sighs> um. Anyways, Charles uh, called up Johnny, Dirtbag Johnny, and said, "Hey, um, I need a special order." Okay. Of wheeling wine and whiskey sweatshirt. And Johnny was able to accommodate him, which really? was super cool. Nice. Yeah, and that's the nice thing about uh, you know, we're 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 direct to consumer here. That's right. <laughs> so on demand. On demand. And um so super cool. I say I say I demand a sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, apparently he's going out to the, the, the hammers, and hopefully we can meet up with you out Absolutely. there, Charles. And uh, super glad that Johnny was able to hook you up um, with that special clothing order. And um, so, yeah, if you don't see something on the website that that's to your liking, uh, call up Johnny and harass him. Email tell him, him, call him. Tell him that Lorenzo sent you, and you, you need whatever you need. And uh, Johnny's a great guy, and he'll figure out how to uh, how to make it happen. Absolutely, he'll wave his uh, wav. He'll wave his <laughs> magic wand. Here's, Why are you wasco you? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's what happens when you have a lot of wine. <laughs> there it is. So. <laughs> 
Um, it is a drinking show. So, so call know. up uh, Johnny uh, if you can't find something on the website you like. And uh, but we've got um, we just reordered stickers, so we got a new uh, uh, new batch batch. Yes, of stickers. Exact same stickers. Yeah, same they're high quality. They're, they're good quality. Everybody loves them, so we just rolled with that. Um, we've got, uh, we just got a video today <laughs> of the new and improved <laughs> magnetic re- koozie. Really? We're going to announce I just, it? I'm just saying, it, it, wait, because we were so disappointed but with wait, the others. But wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> I, and I said, this thing, so Johnny goes, no, 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 we're going to make this right. He goes, I don't know, I not only want this koozie to hold one can of beer, I want you to be able to set a full can of beer or soda, whatever it is, beverage on top of the the can that's in the, you know, magnetic koozie. And so we got a video today, Chris, of a yes. koozie holding a, a beverage, with a full beverage. can of beverage, with another full can of beverage on top of that yes. koozie on a magnetic ferrous, uh, you know, surface, and it did not fall, slip, slide, or anything. I just hope that magnetic that surface wasn't like a freaking uh, electromagnet. Yes. <laughs> No, it looked great. I'm super stoked. Well, you got to take two two hands to pull this thing off of the well, magnetic yeah, surface. It might not come off. You might need to, you know, got, hook your comes, winch to it. It comes with a little mini crowbar. Just make sure your synthetic <laughs> winch line is from Freedom Rope. That's all. <laughs> so, yeah, um, very cool. So uh, we're we're working on getting the uh, full blown badass uh, magnetic koozies back uh, online. There, but the other ones are still available they are still available and uh and and we've got some to hand out at the hammers so coming up soon come look for us at the hammers that will happen even though new scum is gonna you know try to shut it down but we'll we'll see but the the hammers is is all all empowering uh force that that is uh that he can't reckon with (laughs) my turn go okay flashlights do you ever see anybody drop a flashlight in boiling oil? Yes, I have. It survived, didn't it? Yes, it did. He's still using it to this day. He is. I was super impressed by that. We had a friend that, that was, we were, we were on a winter camping trip, and we were deep frying French fries. Oh, and was it a turkey? No, it was, he was we remember it was, the, it was the burger night. And we, oh, yeah, it was fries. <laughs> he was doing fried, and he had his flashlight in his mouth. 375 degree oil, roughly. It, it's like, oops, I dropped my flashlight. And it, it, anyway, <laughs> it, it was in there for like five or six, maybe more minutes. And it, it, he pulled it. We Stayed fr- illuminated. He didn't, re- he didn't reach in, obviously, with his no. bare hand. That would have been no, bad. No, that would have been real bad. We got tongs and pulled his flashlight out. And he's still using it to this day. And that was three years ago. Yeah, I was so impressed that I went and bought one of those flashlights. Yeah, that was uh, an O light. It the, wasn't a flashlight. No, <laughs> no flashlight. Not, not a flashlight. Okay, because that's what I thought I heard you say early mm-hmm. on. It's an O light S one R, and so I'm, we've moved into the under the one hundred dollar range. Oh, is that is that how much those things are? Well, it's sixty five bucks. Oh, I mean, but it's super. I, I use it to, every day. I, I, to, I it's in my work truck. Okay, and it's got a magnetic charger, so it's it's a USB charger. It plugs into the USB port of my truck. Okay, and when it needs to charge, I just the, the magnet just slaps to the rear end to the rear end of it and charges it up. Okay, so it's ready to go every day. Okay, and, but it's sixty five dollars. I use it. It's awesome. It's made of aluminum. It's durable as hell. I mean, if the yeah, well, apparently can withstand four hundred degree oil. And and the uh, the lens kind of bulbed out a little bit on that. Uh, it it bulged out a little bit. Yeah, in that hot uh, oil, but but it, it was still lit up. That was the crazy thing. I remember works. that still works. Ira, Ira, that was Ira's flashlight. Big, big shout he, out to Ira. He dropped. It. <laughs> so, there might have been a little bit of, of adult beverage yeah. involved, but yeah, uh, a little battery acid <laughs> with your freaking fries. <laughs> Hold the battery. You I'll know take what? Some fries. Hold the battery acid. That's uh, that's that's uh, trial by fire. <laughs> Literally. There you go. So, I highly recommend the O light. You can get them on Amazon at the S one R for sixty five bucks. Uh, very cool. Um, o light. O light. So O. Spell that. 
O L I T E. No, L I G H T. Oh, it's spelled like light. Yeah. Okay. And then L I G H T. L I G H T. Okay. Okay. Then I, I, I got to go with communications on the trail. Oh, we're, God. We're, Here we go again. We're backing away from the CB radio. So. In the in the under the hundred dollar range, we can get into the into the Baofeng oh, handhelds. The Baofeng. Are they still around? They are. They, they are. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna go rugged because you know that whole. Ep- no, we're not gonna. Go. Whoa. Okay. Baofeng. The uh, Baofeng. the BFFH eight P. Twenty seven one niner. It's a great oh. radio. Uh, you need to have a ham radio. license. Thirty five dollars. What's that thing it's, go for? Uh, Seventy bucks. Oh, 70. But you need to have your ham license, and those are, well, I don't know. I'd say they're easy to get, but right now with this BS that we're dealing with COVID, I don't know if there's any testing going on. But Nothing's easy to get right now. Send an email to Tyler. It's it, uh, uh, Tyler. <laughs> More flayed or whatever. Wow. Um, but the Baofeng radio, ham okay. radio communications on the trail are, are, are fantastic. Yes. The ability to use the repeaters, especially if you're on the Rubicon, or you know, I mean, hell, when I was on Strawberry Trail, I was monitoring the 805. So that that repeater reaches oh, yeah. far and wide. And if you're in a in a in a bind and you need help, you can you can bellow out for help, and that's that's cool. So I recommend the Baofeng. Uh, I know it's cheap, and you know Tyler with uh, with Snail Trail will say that those are good for about two years. But you know, for seventy bucks, two years of use, and then you you upgrade at some point to a to a better radio like a Yezu or a Kenwood. So, it's worth it. I it agree. Really some sort of ham radio, and you do have to be licensed to uh, speak on those. Now you can have That's one correct. and listen in. That's right. You know, but uh, it, it, it the proper uh, way to go is to get your license and know. KK6. Yeah, your proper terminology and stuff working through that. Usage. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so ham radio is far, far, far superior than than anything else out there uh, radio communication-wise. Uh, GRMS is another uh, yep. way to go. Um, but, again, need to be licensed. And um, if you've been thinking about doing it, do it. You do will it. not be disappointed. Um it it opens up uh, literally the world of communications to you. Let me put it like this. Here we go. I could be sitting in my living room in my house in Livermore, and I could talk to Jason on the Rubicon. <laughs> yeah, because Jason's out four wheeling, and Chris is in his living room, not four wheeling. <laughs> well, that's true at that point, at that particular moment in time. But that's the point. You can't do that with CB radio. No, you can't. Just can't. Not going to happen. So, so 2021, badass. you need to be out on the trail so we could like talk one on one. We'll be at the fire, amigo, amigo. We'll be with the Zoom. We'll be recording a podcast and maybe even slurring our words a little bit. Oh, uh-huh. uh-huh. we are right now. <laughs> okay, maybe. Anyway, that's my uh, under one hundred dollar range. Oh, um, what do you got? Under a hundred? Anything under a hundred? Yes. Okay. Element fire extinguisher. Oh, shit. You took another one of mine. <laughs> Maybe we should have talked before the... You know. No, this is great. So, uh, you know, we promoted it earlier this year and got to talk to uh, Rob Khaleesi. Yes, we did. And it is. It's a super cool uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, basically, it looks like a road flare. It acts like a road flare as far as igniting it. And right. then... Um, you know, it interrupts the fire chain, uh, with potassium ions. That's the, the simplest way to put it. Um, Chemistry. does not expire. No. Um, it, it lasts, you know, up to five times longer than the normal five pound fire extinguisher. So a five pound fire extinguisher lasts nine to 11 seconds and this lasts 50 seconds. Uh, which doesn't sound like a lot of time, but when you're fighting a fire, that is a long time. Hell yeah, adrenaline's pumping. Um, you know, and then you couple it with the A, B, C, and, uh, you know, K rating for right? the kitchen where it will fight grease fires. 
I mean, the list goes on and on of uh, how cool it does not, you know, expire. Um, you know, it's a one and done. That is the disadvantage. And it is, a, you know, an $85 fire extinguisher. But it's, it's compact. small, compact, right. lightweight, mm-hmm. does not need to be serviced, recharged, recertified. Um, you know, and the, the, the other fire extinguishers, I mean, I know of... A lot of my four wheeling buddies that have quote unquote normal fire extinguishers on their rigs, they haven't been recertified in no. 10 years. And so, are they going to work? Maybe. More than likely? Probably not. <laughs> so, she gone. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's just, it, it's it's a cheap insurance, really cheap insurance. Um, you know, ideally, you've got a couple of these on every rig, uh, minimum one. Um, I I just, uh, it's it's a no-brainer. And it's, you know, it's one of those, those practical gifts, like giving underwear or socks or something. It's like, you're going to use it. You don't want to, but you're going to use it. Um, but if you ever had to actually use it in an emergency and it saves your rig from burning down to the freaking ground, uh, how much is that worth to you? So, right. um, yeah, check it out. We don't have a discount code anymore. They had a 15% no. off code going that I, I posted on our, our RG page. Um, I'm not aware of any other discount going right at the moment. Nope. Um, we're we're trying to secure some other discount with them, but uh, as of at, right now, even at full price, it's worth it. It really is. It really is at the eighty five bucks or whatever. But uh, yeah, so there you go. I'd get one. I mean, I have one in my camper. I have one in my truck. I have one in my Jeep. I got it. I got it in everything. Well, you have a Ford, so I definitely would. Have wow! One. Really? <laughs> Look at you getting the shot in early. Boom. Wait, do I have a sound for that? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Part. Oh boy. Okay. So you got the yeah the element fire scene. A good recommendation. I yeah. like that one. Yeah. Um. Anything else in the under hundred? Under a hundred? No. That's that's all I got. Well, wait. Oh, but wait. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> if you act now, you get the Ginsu knife set. Ooh. Twenty one piece. Does that include steak knives? It does. And, and the, the so sharpenable tongs? It's a eight-piece steak knife, steak knife set. I want the sharp- no! sharpen- tongs. sharpenable tongs. <laughs> what are you talking about over there? What shows are you watching? Well, you know, uh, Tommy Woo. <laughs> I used to work in kitchen. Now I own kitchen. We're you come to my home. seminar. We're going to I home. was telling Mike, I was talking to Mike from Mike and Max's podcast, and and I'm like, dude, you should come to my seminar. He goes, dude, you got a seminar? <laughs> <laughs> bro. Hey, and bro. I, I go, yeah, just just like uh, Tommy Wu. <laughs> Sign up. It's Anyways, on our website. He's a great guy. He is. Looking forward to seeing him again. Never met Max. Don't know no, if Max he, exists. He's a, he's a, he's he really a, don't. He's, what are the mannequin? Uh, a mannequin, uh, uh, hologram. Uh, no, He's a hologram. The dummies, you know, the... the uh, but Muppets? <laughs> Muppet, you know, the... the uh, you know, ventriloquist? Yeah, those things. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Mannequin? What are you uh, talking about? No offense, there? Max, but you need to, we need to meet... Max the Mannequin. Real. Max the Mannequin. Oh, boy. <laughs> what was that? Max Hedrum. Max Whoa, Hedrum. we're going way back. Is that... Well, that was like an... Uh, uh, that was in the eight, 80s? 90s, yeah. 90s. It was, 90s, a, it was an 90s. electronic uh, dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that could be Max. You never know. I don't know. We got to meet him for real. I mean, think about it. Because, you know, we, we've we seen Mike at both SEMA and KOH. And, you know. I hope to get to wheel with him this year. Well, we'll see. He might break a spring. Or not? No, he's uh. Well, was that a rear spring that he broke or front? Uh, he's got new front axle going in right now, oh, which is awesome. Yeah, he's putting yeah. the sixty in. Yeah. He's going big. He's going about forty fives on that. He's going to be like a hundred and seven inch wheelbase. Oh, he's stretching too. it too. Yeah. Oh boy, this is going to be badass. His rig's already badass, but then you do that, and it's like wow. Oh, it should have been, but then he, he broke a spring just <laughs> driving to the trail. <laughs> was, <laughs> but love you, Mike. Really do. 
You're a good guy. Well, you you can't you got not much ground to stand on down there. Uh, I don't know what uh, what trails you were wheeling down there at the uh, you know hammers, but anyways, well, I'm a passenger. I, I'm a dude. At one a point, I, professional passenger. At one point, I I was we were on what was, we were on outer limits. Outer I, limits I, I was looked, badass. That was a fun trail. So I'm gonna step out. It's and a long out, ways. So I, no, I'm not. No, you're step not stepping out because that's like twelve feet down. It was yeah, it was it was like twelve feet. I'm like I'm 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 good. That was a fun <laughs> freaking trail, man. You're like at one point you're like uh, either we're gonna break right now or we're gonna make it. That was fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Love that shit. Okay, so moving Looking on. Forward to it. We're bumping up to the to the hundred under. No, two. I'm under. I'm under a hundred oh, still. Are you still what? Yeah, Old Elk. Oh, shit. We got to throw Old Elk in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I've got a little coupon code for our, our listeners for Old Elk. Really? Yeah, Old Elk um, or the, the Noku. I don't know. Have you tried oh, that, oh, that bourbon yeah. cream? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, freaking yeah. good. We brought it up. We were I brought it up. Two weeks ago. Yeah. So I brought it up. We, put we it in the coffee. put it in the coffee. It was damn good. Um, the bourbon cream. And then, of course, you got the uh, Old Elk um, uh, straight bourbon. Um, so there is a discount going on right now through the end of the year. Okay. So, um, you know, you purchase it at, at your local purveyor, and um, you can get $3 off uh, for one bottle or $8 on two bottles. Boy. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, it's nothing to uh, no shake a stick at here. It's uh-huh. a good thing. So you can go to uh, www.rebate-2020.com to apply for your rebate. Okay. Okay, so you, and, and everything's on that website. And um, you just, you, you need to, to show a picture of your uh, receipt. The price that you know that you paid, whatever it is, forty five, okay. fifty bucks, somewhere in that that range, um, and uh, you know if you bought two of something, the old elk, the uh, Noku, um, or even the Dry Town Gin, which I've never had yet, um, but y- you could uh, mix and match whatever of those those you know all in the old elk brand, right, and uh, get eight dollars back. There you go. So if you're picking it up at 45 at like Total Wine and More or something, sure. or Safeway, I saw it at Safeway for 44, mm-hmm. $44 at Safeway. Yeah, I don't know. If that and you get two deal. bottles of that minus the eight. What? You're getting it for $40 a bottle? Yeah. Sign me up. <laughs> Dude, I, I dare you to find a better whiskey at that price. So, anyways, check out www rebate. Dash twenty twenty dot com, and uh, that will take you to their site. And as long as you purchased before the end of the year, um, boom, you're in. Cool, and one per household. So you know, that's it. Well, there you go. If if you, yeah, I was going to say with all your multiple (laughs) homes, you know, you got you you can do this six, seven, eight times. So multiple homes, multiple wives, it's all good. But um, you know. Old Elk's been great, uh, super delicious. Keep going oh, yeah. back as as one of the smoothest whiskeys we've ever had. Oh yeah, bourbon in that case. Um, they're they're straight bourbon. Um, you know the samples we had before the uh, the straight wheat, the weeded, and the rye. Oh my god, that rye! <laughs> so any of those, uh, if you can get your hands on them and use that code, you're welcome. You won't and you won't be disappointed. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Right on. Great, great, great recommendation. Uh, thank you very little. Whoa, hey. Oh. You all right? We're almost professionals here. <laughs> we had to do a quick sound check earlier today to kind of figure a out. Quick. Was, that wasn't very quick. We were having issues with our new soundboard, and uh, we, uh, we think we isolate it to... To microphone Chris, issues to Chris's end. It wasn't my end. It was Chris's end. We were, we were afraid our fancy new road uh, Roadcaster Pro board here was causing issues, but it appears to be microphone problems. So in the future, know. we'll be spending more money to buy fancier Jesus. microphones. Perhaps. Thank you for our patrons, by the way. Absolutely, goddamn, lutely. You know, they without patrons, we wouldn't have the board. No, we we, we wouldn't be anywhere. 
be nowhere. <laughs> we'll circle back on that in a moment. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. Um, anything else in the hundred dollar no, range? No, I'm done. Okay, you're done. Period. I'm done. Over, That's it. Over Thanks now. for playing tonight. <clears throat> bye bye. I'm I'm moving up to the to the Chris money. Area. Oh jeez, here we go. Hashtag, Buckle up, Buttercups. Hashtag Chris money. <laughs> jeez, here we are under two hundred and fifty dollars. Holy smokes! <laughs> Wait, what a jump up. <laughs> <laughs> Under two hundred. I've only got I've only got two items, and another one is, is this is ham radio action again. Uh, but we we originally talked about in the uh, under hundred dollars. We talked about the handheld the you know, radio, which is limited to five to eight watts. Right. So mobile unit. Well, now we're talking about a mobile. Yeah. Unit, permanently mounted yeah. in your rig, yeah. powered from the battery and the alternator. Right. Much better, more reliable, more powerful. I mean, uh, some of the, I think the rig that's in your buggy is sixty watts. Yeah, um, one point two gigawatts, one point two one gigawatts. The, that's a Kenwood, or is that? That's a why I got to keep it under eighty uh, eight miles. Eighty eight. Um, that's a Yezu. Uh, Yezu in the buggy. Yeah. yeah, it's what a lot of the Ultra Four guys are running. Right, and it pumps out some good juice. I mean, it eight, does. Sixty, and it's durable. Watts. Yeah. And then we run, you have a Kenwood in your Jeep. Jeep. Yes, dual band. Dual band. So the one in the buggy is only single band. Right. Um, but those are much more expensive radios. Uh, what, the Kenwood? Than 250. The Kenwood's more than 250. It is. It's it's crazy. But I'll tell you, man, that, that is a solid freaking radio. It is. It is. Uh, then what we got in our trucks... The, yeah, those are the way Yesu, more uh, push <laughs> touch screen deal. F- FTM four hundred. Yeah, those are nice. They're sweet, really nice. Way more than two fifty. That was back when I was making money and could yeah. buy all this shit. Well, we just we tried to do a group buy. Me, you, and Ira. We did. We went to How'd the that ham, ham radio outlet. And, yeah, we don't do yeah, that. No. Oh, really? You don't want to do a discount on three radios? Anyway, right some now? so some sort of mobile radio you recommend? So yeah, so I've got uh, any tone. Uh, dual band receiver. You can catch them. You just do a search on the internet. Amazon has them for two hundred and seventeen bucks. Yeah, it's called Anytone. Anytone, and they're they're a good brand. You know, they uh, it's a dual band. It's it's uh, you know got the all the features you want. Uh, you need it again. You know, disclaimer: you need a ham license to operate yes. these things legally. Yes. Um, but they, they install on your rig and they, they right. run the 50 Watts, you know, on the UHF VHF dual band. So two meter and 70 centimeter. Um, uh, definitely at that point, you're going to be able to catch repeaters like the 805 or the, the NC N6 ICW if right, you're in yeah, trouble, if you're you need help. The, uh, yeah, having dual band is very nice. So what dual band uh, does is basically you've got two uh, frequencies that you can monitor at the same time. Exactly. And talk on. But it does get a little complicated because you're listening to both those frequencies and then you need to talk, you know, on you one sure frequency. You, so you got to make sure you're on that right frequency because, then, you know, you may be on the local, uh, you know, simplex channel that you're talking to your trail crew on, um, but you're... you're keyed up on the repeater which is goes out to <laughs> right. russia right um so you you, you know it, it takes some some thought there process it to does. get through that but it is so cool to listen in and have that those dual bands of two frequencies that you're able to listen trans- to and receivers. and yeah and transmit on so that's what the dual band is. And I'm not going to go any further. You can listen to the Snail Trail podcast right. and learn no, all no, about I'm, the We're, not, the we're not getting into the, the details. Yeah, I, just, I know. This is, this is but just, that, I was just saying that, that like, if you were buying something, like, mm-hmm. you know, for your, your spouse or somebody that you cared about deeply, because that's a lot of freaking money, yep. um, you know, get the dual band, because no, they sure. are not going to be disappointed having a dual band. For sure. And the buggy's only single, but... Well, but uh, for what that does, that's fine. But for you're right, I and, just yell very loud if I if somebody can't hear me on the other band. And we typically only <laughs> only operate, we only operate in the two meter band for the most part. <laughs> yeah. Um, without you know, we're not going to get if you like. I said, Jason said, if you want to know all the details, just 
listen to Snail Trail. And Tyler has episodes where he just totally nerds out. So. Right, right. Um, and then this is the Freedom Rope thing again. The synthetic winch line. Uh, Freedom Rope, again, a big shout-out to them. I know we talked about them for, um, uh, for the... It's totally unsolicited, by the way. It is completely unsolicited, <laughs> but they're a local business, and we want to support them. But the... Uh, the, the uh, Go so ahead. What do you call those things? The, Use uh, it. Go. You want to buy a vowel? <laughs> I'm just trying got? to remember earlier what were not the D rings, but the uh, shackles, the shackles, soft the shackles, soft shackles. That's what I was trying to think of. But their their synthetic winch line is also very well reviewed, and they, they, you go to their website freedomrope dot com, and they have seventh eighth inch, inch <laughs> by eighty foot synthetic winch line. Yeah, is one hundred and twenty five bucks. Yeah, that's a good deal. I'll tell you, and, and it includes a soft shackle. Does it really? It does. Yeah, see, that's super cool. Um, I am such a fan of synthetic ropes and soft shackles. Now, there is a wear factor, and they don't there last is. nearly as long. Uh, that's the trade-off. But I'll tell you, as much off-roading as I uh, do, and as much wear and tear as my ropes and shackles uh, withstand, um I don't care. I replace them every couple of years. That's fine. Right. Uh, they start getting, you know, out of out of tolerance, so to speak. Uh, so them. worn. Uh, I do. So the synthetic winch line, uh, I'll unspool in the driveway on a summer day, listening to some like Led Zeppelin or something. This is California. Every day is a summer Maybe, day. Maybe, yeah, pretty Even much Even in is. December, it's I a know, summer day. This is ridiculous. We need <laughs> fucking rain. But uh, five gallon bucket filled with some, uh, you know, Dawn detergent. Simple green. Uh, yeah, simple green's good too. Uh, mild detergent. Throw that in with some water and your winch line in the five gallon bucket. And let it soak uh, for a while, and then um, pull it out and and hose it off, and let it dry in your driveway. Just spool it around your driveway or street or whatever you got there, right? And let it dry out, and then re-spool it. Yep. Um, under tension, ideally, 500 pounds of tension, um, and uh, you're, you're good to go, and, and it will last a lot longer because the, the winch lines, those synthetic winch lines, pick up uh, uh, dirt, dirt and that grit, and that's what breaks down the line, not to mention mine that's been dragged across granite rocks and everything else. Uh, so, but And all that sand from oh, Sand Hollow. Oh, my gosh. That was... They did a lot of winching out there, actually, now yeah. that I think about it. Yeah, you did. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it, it's just, God, you know, just not getting burrs from cables and cables getting, yeah. you know, with the, with the cable, just, it, it, you, get, you know, your first pull after you wind it up correctly, and that's under the 500-pound load, and it's it's nice and tight on the drum, you know, that's fine, but then after that first pull or, or even during the first pull, when you spool out a bunch of line and it starts crossing over each other, you don't have any kinking issues or anything no. with a synthetic line. So I could go on and on why you should get a synthetic line if you do a lot of four-wheeling. If not, a metal cable's great and works fine, but I, I just I am not a fan of metal anymore, no. uh, cable, but if, steel if, cable. If, if your synthetic cable is worn out, used up, this is a great time to, to buy a new yeah, one. Yeah, and we've seen them snap before. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, we have. Freedom Rope, 125 bucks right now. Go to their website, Synthetic Winch Line, nice. 125 nice. with a soft shackle. Good deal. That great is a deal. great deal. That is a great deal. So, anything. Anyway, under 250 you got anything? <laughs> no, no? You're way out of my price range now. I'm done. I'm going unlimited I'm right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here this, we this go. This is going to end the show. Here, I'm going to drop this mic dropper right here. Okay, I I do have something before you drop the mic. Okay, go because ahead. Because it's in the, uh, I guess it's in the 252 range. Okay, 252. <laughs> exactly, 252. The gazelle tent. I mentioned it last year. You can't and I get them. I didn't have one yet, but I'll tell you what, the gazelle tent and hashtag rock landing, <laughs> it, is, it is the best freaking tent I have ever owned, and... I I am so elated with that tent. How easy it is to set up, take down, clean 
when I get home because the floor right. is Velcroed in. It's heavy duty. Um, it's warm. Yeah. I mean, there's so many pluses. The only negative, well, can't, there's two negatives. You can't get it. Well, okay, that's three <laughs> negatives. One, you can't get it. Two is the door going in and out is is not very, very convenient. You know, I mean, Will I trip over it. You would totally trip over oh, it. Oh shit! You'd probably shoot me. Then. Um, and then uh, the the third thing. So you got the. Low availability, apparently, right now, because everybody in their low, sister is camping. Low is a freaking understatement. <laughs> and then and then the, uh, you know, getting in and out of the tent because it's it's a corner. It's a hub system. And so you, you it's got two doors opposing each other in the tent. Um, and, and you got a, it's kind of like a half door that you step into. And it, it's fine. But if you're inebriated, really tired after a day of wheeling it, nah. you may fall into your tent like Chris. Um, the third thing is it, it, it does fold down in less than a, a minute, but it, it's, it's big. It's bulky. It's, it's, sure. you know, um, the T3, uh, which I have in a CJ5 and in the buggy. I mean, it's it's the full width of the CJ5 and some, you know, so I've got it laying across, you know, perpendicular in the back of the, the Jeep, and it's sticking out beyond the, the, <laughs> the body of the Jeep. A little bit. Not bad. Okay. But on the buggy, it sticks way out, so i got to run it long ways across the roof, and it's fine. But I'll tell you what, I don't care. That thing could stick out 10 feet, and I'd still use it because it is so damn convenient Easy to set up, warm, easy to clean, yada yada yada. It, it, it it's a no brainer. Um, oh, so the, when this uh, this bullshit ends, I'm gonna find one on eBay for fifty bucks. I do it because that'd be a screaming deal. Yeah. And I, I I mean they're just very well built. There's you know the zippers work, and you know it, it's not a one and done season ten. It, this thing's oh, gonna I've last been, for I've years. I've been watching online so. for for uh, the year all year trying to find one, and they've been sold out. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get it. So I got that last year for uh, the holidays. Yeah, and I talked about it on the last podcast that I wanted one, and uh, a year ago, and got it, and used it this year on the Rubicon and Barrett, and um, love it. I mean, great. It, it, yeah, used it a couple times out on the Rubicon here, and just recently, and it was kind of cold when we were up there this last time. And yeah. um, you prefer it over your camper? No. No, it doesn't have a shower <laughs> shitter or anything like that. The bed's not as comfortable, but uh, I got to work on the mattress thing next. I got to get one of those Paco pads, and that would be something oh, those else. Are, those are great. Let's just throw that out there now. Paco pad. The Paco pad. Yeah, look that up. Uh, so look up Paco pad, and this is what the uh, river rafters use. Right. And it's a 100% sealed, waterproof uh, sleeping pad. Um, that, that, like I say, these, these river rafters that do these overnight trips, that's what they use. And, um, yeah, they're, they're what, 250? Oh, uh, they start at Two, 215 and yeah. go up to like 300. Yeah, they're not cheap. They don't give them away, but they are nice. They're super comfortable. They are. They're, they are bulky. Um, but, um, that's going to be hopefully my next, uh, purchase here next summer. When you get your uh, Rocklander, exactly that that will be uh, that and a Batwing tent uh, uh, awning on the uh, on the Jeep or a something refrigerator and, and a, a Scottle, a Scottle, Scottle. got to have a Scottle to Hell overland. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and traction boards. So I'm looking traction for new, boards. I'm looking for a new host, co-host. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> like <laughs> you're gonna see me go full fucking overland. Okay. All right. Well, so there you go. Tent. Yes, comfort. Sweet comfort. I want one of those tents, but they just you can't find them. Okay, there you go. Ready? All right, go ahead. Here we go. What what price range are you in now? You're over two fifty. Unlimited. Oh, unlimited. <laughs> so is this gonna is this gonna be uh, like a, a freaking private island, a yacht? A, no, it's off road, uh, man. Oh, it's Come off road. On. Jeez, well, an island's pretty off road. I guess it is. It's off, off. So is a jet. Uh, so is a rocket. <laughs> a yacht. Okay. Waylon Campbell's old Ultra Force <laughs> race car. 
It's for sale. It is. With it, they they keep lowering their price. It's like eighty five it? grand. Oh now. my god! Or maybe t- it's uh, last I heard it was a hundo. But I uh, saw the Instagram post and it's like all dusty and shit in the back barn. Isn't that embarrassing? It is, and that's a badass car, dude. It's badass car. You could take that car. You, Chris, could take that car and go win KOH forty four hundred class. I would be paralyzed in the first few How miles. How great would that be? I would be, par- you know, it'd be like a imagine? friend that augured in in the first, I'd be paralyzed. I'd be like, I'd be dead. I'd be just be like, I can't move. My back He's is broken. He's on the radio. <laughs> paralyzed. I can't feel my feet. Chris, where are you? Race mile eight. What's wrong? I can't move. <laughs> What's the car broken? No. My body's broken. <laughs> Car's no. fine. You're right. That car is badass. Yeah. And the fact that it hasn't sold yet. Is that is weird, isn't it? Because there's some there's some serious uh, players out there that could afford that. That you think they that would be a huge um, step up, easy oh, yeah. buy in to the sport. Just start at the top, started from the top. Now we're here. Well, I don't, I don't know, know, but it's, it's but a single seat, right? It is, which. That's that's that's, that's, your, that's your commitment. That's a commitment right there. I I I don't want to race KOH one, two. I wouldn't want to race KOH by myself. So you know, having that that co pilot that can read the map and yell at me and, and say pull speed cable. up, slow down, <laughs> pull cable. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Sitting there while I'm having my latte or something while they're pulling cable up back door or something. Yeah, I don't know. That's a whole different but, deal. But yeah, that that car. Um, I am really surprised it hasn't sold yet. Yeah, I am too, quite honestly. And it's 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 ready to go. I mean, it's it's got all that in a bag of chips right there, ready to go. Pedigree. So I don't know. That's unlimited. Huh. I, I don't know. So so you got that. That's a nice. I like that. That's a good way out there. You know, definitely beyond my reach. Mine too, actually. Lorenzo's kind of. He's just sparked up it, some he, interest. He just whipped out his wallet. He's got, uh, he's got some money from, uh, from his homeland. Might be. He's a he's a trust fund donkey, <laughs> or he's embezzling from Wheeling Wine and Whiskey. <laughs> that could be too. I'll tell you, our our accounting firm here at Wheeling Wine and Whiskey has been a little suspect. <laughs> um, you, we could be, and we of, do we, we do need to uh, to double check into that. You're right. No, IRS no, audit. I'm, here we go. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking he's a trust fund donkey. I think so. Yeah. Well, you know, he, he does he get kinda, the, does You get see that the, one gold hoof over there? Well, in the, yeah. the salon visits all the time. Yeah. You know, he's got the... Yeah, the, he's very the, well groomed. The hoof cures. The hoof cures. <laughs> Whatever. So, anyway, that's... Uh, I know there's some of the stuff silly. But what else I, you got? I got nothing. No, nothing else. That was the top? That was it. That's pretty cool. You can't go any higher than that. I can't. That. Well, Unlimited is pretty... I mean, unless you just say, I got a jet. But, well, you know. how about a chopper? A chopper to yeah, fly chopper. around Johnson Valley? Yeah, see, that'd I'd be probably, pretty they cool. They probably wouldn't let me do it. That'd be pretty cool. I need I need a helipad. You could do all the rock trails in like an hour and a half. I need a, I need a helipad. <laughs> Can you what do you mean? The whole desert's a helipad for you. Clear me a helipad. That's all I'm you saying. You can go land on uh, Cody Wagner's property at Laser Town. Oh, Cody would love it. He'd be like, dude, let's party. He'd freaking bring you in with a flamethrower. Bloody Mary's on me, man. <laughs> right on. <laughs> no, you know, KOH is just around the corner. Yes, and uh, let's let's just keep our fingers crossed that it's going to happen because uh, with this shit that's going down in California, I don't know, uh, but uh, we'll but see. you can't close the desert, man. Santa man. Bernardino, San Bernardino County. Come on, we'll man. Come on, man. But I'll tell you, all the teams are wrenching <laughs> like crazy right now nationwide. They're all banging well, on their junk. That's, uh, there's so many different factors here, but I, I just... You know, can't imagine if you are. I mean, just take some of these foreign teams that are coming from Australia and stuff. And oh, Germany, Australia. Oh my God, uh, Italy, Italy. Um, you know, and you're you're working here. Hey, how you doing? (laughs) Um, so, (laughs) you know, you're working on your shit for this this deal that, and then if it gets canceled. 
What? What? Yeah, I mean, that, especially if I mean, you got to pack up your shit in a container, right? And or, ship it over here. Or, this isn't just a, like throw jet. it on a trailer and drive eight, ten, twelve, fifteen hours, whatever it Maybe is. It's on a rocket. It could be on a rocket, but just that's just yeah. So I don't know. We'll but see. I mean, I'm planning on going if yeah. if they don't shut the desert down, and I say they, meaning Newscom and uh, fucking uh, the federal government. If it doesn't get shut down, I'm still going, regardless of whether the oh, race is going on or not. Because I, I want to go there. wheeling down there. I mean, just, just wheeling out there is freaking awesome. Yeah. And uh, that's what I bought the buggy for. Just got to send it. You got to send it. And, yeah, but if we get on, on full-on lockdown, can't do anything. Just stop. Just, just stop saying that I shit. don't know. What's happening? Well, Monday the sixth, toilet paper becomes a hot commodity. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm stocked up. I don't know. I, might I got be, six I rolls. Might That'll out. last me through the end of the year. I got three rolls in the camper out front. <laughs> oh, they could. Somebody they break locked. In. You got a you, you got a cable lock through the rolls. <laughs> I do. I do. They're alarmed. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, what else? What else? Uh, you know, I mean, there's more stuff to. To buy, but there's so much stuff. Unlimited. But, you say unlimited. unlimited. You know, the jet. You know, no. Rock, you know what? Uh, mansion you, yacht. I mean that 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 Wayland's uh, car would be awesome. I I would love a red dot buggy. I don't know what that is. Red dot buggy. Kevin Carroll. Red dot four steer buggy. That's what. Uh, oh, that's what Cody Wagner just right. bought. He found one. Um, Lauren Healy just got one. Um. But uh, Kevin Carroll, un- unfortunately, uh, passed away last year, July-ish. Um, but but um, he was was a resident badass in the rock rolling community. Uh-huh. Had no fucks to give and built some incredible cars. I mean, there's a lot of great fabricators out there sure. now. I mean, you know, Haynes and Slauson and Campbell, and you go on down the line here. Palmer chassis. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, oh God, there's that other guy out of Washington too. Hi, um, what's your chassis? My chassis is out of Utah, but it's not like a crazy it's a Utah chassis. Well, yeah, but it's nothing, nothing like super crazy. Pretty bad. It's it's different. It's definitely different. And you, put, you need to put four wheel steer on that thing. Well, I'll tell you, you putting the water in the front just made that thing damn work really really well. well i'm gonna tell you this right now i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna get out of the vehicle next time i'm on the rig with you. <laughs> well <laughs> let's just say it's going down the hammers with a full set of water in the tires there yeah, um scary yeah so uh, oh um yeah no it's sky's unlimited man we'll have to see. james tracy that's the other guy that is guy is a Washington? badass builder i think so, so area northwest yeah, and the he's his last name is spelled T R E A C Y, and he is one of those builders that uh, you know, little little mom and pop shop, but he builds some ridiculous stuff. So I, I forced your crazy what, buggies. What's what's the price range on these beasties? Uh, you know, up in the uh, one twenty range. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, over a hundred grand. What? Yeah, yeah. They, these guys speak uh, English. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just saying, there's some cool shit out there, Chris. When you know. get up into that it's, that I'm world, gonna to, I'm gonna have to look for a fifth gen u- unit or something. Yeah, like that's that. that old ship box fucking XJ is looking pretty good right <laughs> now, huh? The XJ with four wheel steer. Fuck yeah, I'm on board. <laughs> Set steer. me up. The only know. reason why it's four steers is because the rear axle's broken. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it just wobbles and shit. <laughs> Crazy. No, dude, you know what? And and those are those are if if it was a different reality and I and I could afford a forty four million dollar mansion at Lake Tahoe, I'd fucking buy a you know, a red dot for each of us. Fucking I know, whatever. That would be great. You know, I'd be a billionaire at that point. A like, mansion and a yacht. You know, no, right? I know. If it's I all Jeff, relative Jeff and, and money, what those, like, yeah, whatever. I know. It's, yeah. it's, it's impressive though, that what those cars can do and watching them. And then, 
you know, you see a lot of home built stuff that that's you know just right there too. Yeah, look at that us, can make it happen. Know, hustle nuts. I mean, fuck his. Uh, well, there you go. There's a classic example. I mean, he built that thing for freaking scratch out of his garage. It's not four wheel steer, but I mean, shit. Maybe in the future it will be. Yeah, know, it could know. be. It could be. But, but uh, it, the 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 chassis there for sure. Absolutely. And, and the and the and the engineering expertise is there. Hey, I've seen a lot of lot of stuff work. I mean, I've seen you know the the same obstacle get tackled by a freaking five hundred dollar piece of shit, whatever, that makes it up, and then you know by a hundred thousand dollar plus rig that that walks right up it too. So, uh, really comes down to driver skill, and and your vehicle is going to help a lot. But I, here I we go. Mad skill. Yes, you do. That's yes, you saying. do. And that's that's great. Just send it. Yes. <laughs> so, um, well, that wraps up this portion of the uh, the wheeling wine and whiskey uh, four wheel drive uh, portion of the the gift giving guide. I guess yeah. the recommendations. Yeah. What we like, things we like. Yeah. What's what's that? Uh, what did Oprah do? What was that? The things I love, or I don't know. I don't. What did she Oprah. say? Oh, I don't either. But you know, you get a car, you get a Toyota second, third, fourth, fifth transfer. You case. get a Prius, and you, you get, get a Prius. <laughs> How many torques you got? My favorite things. Somebody does that. No one of those talk show hosts. I don't know. Uh, My favorite things. I don't watch any of that. Shit. I don't know. I don't either. But uh, yeah. So then uh, we'll we'll follow. We'll circle up with some wine and whiskey. I mean, of course. You know, well, we have to. Old Elk's there. We already recommended. Old but Elk. there's there's some other whiskeys that we could talk about. Hundreds. How long are we going into this this podcast here? Are we like four hours in? What, what we're, do we got? We're, we're pretty we're pretty deep. We're pretty deep. We need it. We need it. Should I talk about the Blantons that I just scored? You can again. We, we're, we're under two hours. Oh, right we're now. under two. Okay, we're we're still good. We're not in the wheelhouse. Not, this is going to piss off Mike Austin not at far, the uh, but we're under really two. <laughs> <laughs> at the uh, Mike and Mike podcast, but uh, you Olson, know Olson will get pissed off too. Oh, Olson, Olson's okay. Code He'll Olson, get over our, it. Our lawyers, just those you know. lawyers are are pretty good. Well, but they're our sponsors, dude. I know that's what I'm saying. They're pretty good, yeah. and they've helped us out. We don't want to piss off our sponsors. No, no, not at all. Um, so Safeway, I I'm. <laughs> this is a great. Okay, quick story. Oh, yeah, this quick story. A, this I got is this. A good story. Got this song. <laughs> Got one for you. <laughs> well, but this is this is. Uh, Go ahead. What training? You know, this is this is important tips right here. Shopping tips because I didn't even know this. Pro professional, pro professional, right here. I, I so learned, it's I whiskey season. Yeah, it's exactly. whiskey hunting season in November, uh, early December in uh, California. Christmas tree hunting, whiskey hunting. Yeah, and so uh, Blanton's gets released, and um, amongst some other great uh, bourbons, and and so, anyways, I go to a local shopping center, strip mall, to get some stripper. blueprints. Stripper? No, strip mall. Um, to get our blueprints printed at this, uh, this, this, you know, copy center deal. Okay. And there's a safe way within that shopping center. Well, you said you saw a guy walking out. With well, that's it. So I'm, 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 you know, coming out with the blueprints for my job and I go to sit down in my truck and I look up and there's a guy, of course, masked up, uh, with a like 20 pack of toilet paper. <laughs> Coming out of Safeway. Commodity item. And this was like a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, I guess, two weeks ago now that, you know, they were starting to say, oh, you know, we're going to lock down and oh, everybody shit, buckle down. And, diarrhea again. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so all of a sudden, all the Costco's were sold out of toilet paper oh, and yeah, shit, you right? Can't find it to be, to save your so life. I go, oh, maybe, you know, they got toilet paper, maybe. So I'm going to go in and check that out. So I go down the paper aisle and sure shit, they've got. Toilet paper and paper towels. No pun intended. No pun intended here. And so I'm like, okay, well, and they were on sale at a good price. So I go, okay, I'll go back and get a card and grab, uh, you know, bundle of each. As my travels took me through the store and I'm like, well, let me go check the, you know, alcohol aisle and just see what's in the case. And, and, you know, it's just to interject real quick, I've never really 
personally, I've never Looked. considered Safeway to right. be a high end. No. to look for high end. No. You should bourbons and whiskey. Yeah, I like people like you that don't even know. So this was my learning, my aha moment. So um, I went down the the aisle there and looked in the locked uh, case, and there were several beautiful finds in the case, but there was a. Uh, a few bottles of Blantons in there. Terrible, terrible. Which is bourbon. hard to find. It's terrible. Very hard this to find. Horrible. Uh, and if you do find it, it's usually at a $120 price range, and typically. You and, and you don't want to buy it. You want to leave it store. for us. You want to leave it for us. And so, uh, you know, you find it at a store like Safeway or a BevMo or something like that. It's going to be seventy dollars, sixty nine right. ninety nine, just well, like I found at Bevmo a couple he, weeks before, even, prior to this, even right? My, my local guy, he's, he he jacks it up. You know? I know, but those of you that listen to the podcast, I, I went into that Bevmo and found a bottle for seventy bucks, right? And was super happy to walk away with a bottle of Blends for seventy bucks. What letter was it? It was O, 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 O. o. Is that your O face? Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, so, I, this, mind you, this is like 9.30 in the morning. So, I rush up to the front, you know, check stands to the customer service uh, window. Uh, Sir, can I help you? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I need a key for the liquor cabinet stat. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. Were you shaking? <laughs> no, I wasn't at that point. <laughs> And so uh, the manager says, okay, I'll meet you over there. So I went back over with my shopping cart. And uh, and he goes, okay, yeah, I got three of them. How many do you want? I said, well, I'll take all three. Now, I felt a little guilty taking all three. I was going to leave one because there's there's somebody else out looking for this stuff as much as I have been. It was me. But then I go, you know, who is going to appreciate it more than me? Me. No. Me. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm like, I got to... I got to get this and share because I share. That's you know, right. if I, I'm not like hoarding this stuff. I share. I'm a sharer. I'm a giver. Uh, I, I give till it hurts, Chris. I looked around the house. I didn't see a single bottle. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. So you're not knowing where to look. Well, I had to hide it from Lorenzo. So oh, you're looking yeah. to the same place as Lorenzo's looking. That's a problem. Anyways, <laughs> so so I said, I'll take all three. And I go, hey, um, if I buy three other bottles of of alcohol, I get an additional ten percent off because it's like mix and match six you know bottles. Yeah, carry and, a case price, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, he goes, "Yeah, that's correct." So I'm like, "Huh? Well, we got a sour mash uh, mixers here. Nice. Oh, we got American mixers, which is one of my favorite. Nice. Oh, and Angel's Envy's right there. So nice. I grab those three bottles, and then uh, the Blantons and Long story short, because this has been a long story, but a good a story. story. Very good story. Great good. Story. Great. Great. Good story. <laughs> you just <a> downgraded <laughs> yourself. <laughs> um, uh, 53 and some change. So let's just say $54 for a Blantons. bottle for Blanton's. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's dropped the mic right there. Winning. Boom. And that's that's your uh, that that's the last of the Christmas uh, rec- holiday recommendations right there. Boom! If you can get a bottle of Blantons for fifty four dollars, well, here's the lesson: do is, it is to when you're at Safeway or Lucky or any of these major stores like Rayleigh's, uh, Costco, uh, Albertsons. If you, see I haven't these, seen it at Costco. Well, we had the old elk score. Well, we, yeah, I know, but I, I, I don't know if we had to work. Anyways, you just, just be on the lookout for it. And, just, and just I've never, peruse. And I've never been on the lookout. You gotta That's look. The see, gotta look. Just there was Habiki there. Yeah, I saw Good that in the picture you sent me. I said, "Holy shit!" Yeah, but yeah. It, again, it's never been on. It's like if I figure, uh, I, I've always been. I gotta go to a liquor store, or I gotta go to no, a demo, or I gotta no. go to a total look wine around. Bar. Keep your eyes need, open. Need to go to you know lock lock barrel, you know right. But well, that's that's great. So cool. I think it's great. Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> so let's bust out the blends. Let's let's, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go with the blends. Woohoo! So it, that's another one of those those bourbons that's just a super easy drinker. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, but it's it's hard to find, and and it's it's just gotten it's out of control. The, the pricing's crazy, but the the bottle's cool, and the the stigma not the stigma, but but I the, I want to do oh, go ahead. I'm sorry to cut you off. Stigma's the, cool. It's not stigma. It's uh, it's 
the the, the quest of the finding quest it. for the yeah. for the letters and and to yeah. make that happen. You know, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a cool bottle. It's unique, and yeah, there's a lot of good stuff going on there. But uh, you know, I want to do a blind tasting. Okay, let's make it tonight. And uh, we could. <laughs> um, I want to. I want to put a few. Um, you know, bourbons that I think would would be in that regime. So definitely Old Elk, Blanton's. Um, God, what else would I put in that uh, in that realm? There, we need like four different tastings. Blind, blind tastings, just glass with bourbon in it. And I, I would love to see if you could pick out, you know, Blanton's, pick out Old Elk. I, I'm pretty sure I could. I'm so pretty hearing, sure I can pick out those two. Really good things about the single barrel Jack Daniels. Oh, single barrel Jack's always good. I'm hearing great things, and I, yeah. I want to see if I can track some of that down. Oh, it's it's out there. It's it's readily available. So, anyway, make that happen. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna. I'll be on the lookout. Sing, uh, Jack's definitely got a distinctive taste. I I could probably pull that out of a lineup too. Well, I'm just gonna say, yeah. but. I would love to because it it takes all your your other senses. All you're looking at is this brown, you know, liquor in a glass, just like blind wine tasting these red, you know, wines in a glass. And you're like, you know, is it a Merlot? Is it a Cab? Is it a, you know, Cab Franc? Petit Syrah? It's a a Cab. Pinot? You know, you can kind of look at the color and kind of see, but... It would be interesting. We we need to do a little blind tasting there to see. But well, uh, I'll tell you, I keep going back to Old Elk. Just as smooth as it is oh, at forty five bucks, it's so hard to well, beat. We've, we've so said hard over to and beat. Over again. I know. Bang, bang for the. Buck. I hate to beat a dead horse, bang but my buck. God. It's, it's not just, a dead horse. It's a delicious. It's horse. a delicious horse. <laughs> delicious it's, elk. A del- it's a delicious <laughs> horse. <laughs> Giving nourishment to my body. So anyway, oh, we're running geez. long. Let's uh, yeah, let's. Uh, what we got? Any other gifts to open here or anything? I got nothing. I got. We, we're done. Are we? Damn it! We got stickers. We got. It's, it's been a good night. I do. So again, ramp customs because normal is just the average. Hey, Boom. thank you so much for the Vegemite and watching Chris cringe. I will send that video out. Uh, the the tie wrap uh, tie downs here and did I cringe and uh, hey, kind of gave a little stuff there. Um, we got to We got to thank uh, Sean for the uh, the the calendar for Lorenzo. Right. Um, I mean, this is this has been quite the episode here. It has. So just to, on on closing, uh, and thank, if you're still listening, thank you to all our patrons. We love you very much. You're awesome. We're 31 patrons at this point. 31. 31. Our Do latest. we have an applause over there on the? Uh, we or we take it out. Oh shit! Hold do on. we? Gotta, no. No, it's nope. here. Hold on. We gotta, took gotta, it gotta, out. No, we do. Gotta, so gotta, all our patrons, thank you so much uh, for helping us out and buying technology that Chris doesn't know how to use. <laughs> uh, we're, we're trying over here. He is just, there we go. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Boy, that was that was the timing to right there, Chris. You're doing a great job. <laughs> We're on it. So good. But CJ so is our good. newest patron. Thank you, CJ. You're awesome. Is we, he? Nice. Yeah, absolutely. CJ with a CJ? CJ with a CJ. So, yeah, and uh we're going to Do you want to talk about the next uh giveaway? Yes, we should. Let's we drop should. a little little uh, what are they? Uh, Easter egg. I've Easter heard that egg. a lot lately. Let's Easter drop egg. a little Easter egg. We're gonna. We have. A, we have another e- two. Two element fire extinguishers left to give away. That's right. That we're gonna do. We're formulating the the giveaway as we speak. The deets. The deets. So look forward to that. Two. You will win two. Not one, but two element fire extinguishers. That's right. One for your rig and one for your tow rig. Or it could be both in the same rig. They're both in the same rig. Or it could be your one boat, for your kitchen. One your one, airplane. Your boat. Your, your yacht. Your mansion. Your 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 one of your four kitchens in your mansion. It's wabbit season. <laughs> it's duck season. <laughs> no, it's wabbit season. Uh, you know, whatever. You you there. 
they're you they're great. Just hang absolutely. Them up. You shouldn't have shouldn't go without. I was up at my uncle's uh, cabin over Thanksgiving, and he had one hung up there in the kitchen. An I element, was, yeah, nice. I was like, that's pretty cool. Sweet, it's right there. Very very visible with the d- instructions Make right there. Did you get your commission? I didn't. I oh. wish I should be getting a commission on this shit, but I I just believe in it. I think it's oh, great. No, I, great. I I just want people to be armed with whatever fire extinguisher that they can grab within arm's reach. But fire's bad. Yeah, putting it out's good. Yeah. So needle and thread. Yep. Anyway, yeah, Lorenzo. What do you got? Oh Nothing? boy. He's right. he's we like you sh- guys should have wrapped this up 15 <laughs> minutes ago. He's giving us a sign. Yeah, and on that note, good. we're out. <laughs> <laughs>